Liam Healy is here with us again now. Should we be on the lookout again for this tonight, Liam? We should be if we didn't have enough cloud cover like we do right now. So here's a shot from last night. This is what the sky looked like, at least through a camera. To the naked eye, things were a little bit duller here across the region, but the camera on your phone or even just a good DSLR, DSLR camera could really make that magic pop because they can take in just a little bit more light than your average eyeball can. And that helps those colors out and just really brings a lot of the vibrancy to it. Now, of course, tonight our situation is very different than it was yesterday. We got very lucky. Everything cleared out. A lot of showers still around. Plenty of cloud cover as we watch this low pressure begin to rotate over us. Now, I have seen some reports out towards Indiana where it is clear that the Aurora and the lights are starting to shine a little bit more. So that's something that we are seeing. It has kind of waned in activity, so it's not as vibrant as it was last night. We're probably somewhere around a six or a seven on the, what we call the K index scale or somewhere around a G3 or G2 storm right now. Tomorrow, though, we do expect things to pick back up a little bit more and get back near those higher potentials and maybe even some brighter sites out there and we'll watch that tomorrow night, especially across our area because we are going to be much clearer Sunday night into Monday, which could give us a much better chance to see the Aurora versus what's happening tonight. Of course, with our weather.